I didn't know till recently that it was going down that crazy. You gotta watch the video. Yeah, and I'll tell you. But what. it ain't it just because you know. I ain't, let me shut up. Yeah, let me shut yeah, up on that. Shout one. out to Ben Zeno, man. <laughs> Live your truth, brother. You know what I'm saying whatever that may be. Damn, I ain't trying to say nothing. You made it seem like I was trying. To, nah, whatever. <laughs> hey, nothing you can really say about this one. <laughs> whatever, my nigga. Yeah, definitely bad. But yeah, man. You know, you know what's crazy. So talking about Clubhouse, I was in there this morning. Right. And the conversation of Jaguar Wright came up. You remember that? Oh name, right? man, you serious? What happened to Jaguar Wright? And they were talking about how she was really blowing the whistle on the music industry. And they were talking about various interviews that she did. And obviously ours did very well. With Jaguar ours kicked Wright. it off. Our, obviously ours kicked it off. I didn't want to sit back and toot our horn, but I was I'm just listening. I'm right. not cutting anybody off. I'm listening. And they were talking about how a lot of what she was saying was truth. Now we had our brother in here. And because he didn't mention any names, we won't. But he was obviously talking about her and was saying basically she was bullshit. Right? Bat, she said batshit crazy was his words. Batshit crazy. But I had people that were validating her who were very deep in the industry saying that she was right. So, it was a, it, so maybe some things she was saying was and maybe some things she was saying wasn't. But then they got on the conversation of where she went. Where is Jaguar right? Is she dead? Did she get paid off? And a lot of people were under the suspicion that Jaguar Wright was paid a lump sum of money to shut the hell up. I don't think so. Go into a corner right. and then do her thing. I wanted to know what you thought about that. I don't think so. You think she did? No. I don't know. So I don't I think so. I, I, think, I think it's a little bit of truth in all of it. Like, I think it's a lot of stuff she said was true. I think some stuff may have been fabricated. You know what I mean? She may be a little cuckoo, but that don't mean nothing at the end of the day. You know, I think what happened was when you in that type of energy, it's an energy that's very toxic and draining because you got to remember all all the likes she's getting and people, you know, coming at her and, and saying, oh, we love you. She getting a lot of probably hate mail, yeah, yeah. death threats, especially yeah. if she's really, you know, going at people like that and really exposing what, she's, what she saw in a drill. Like she's going to be getting that, that negative energy. And I just think, and I hope, you know, hopefully I'm right about this. She kind of just fell back yeah. from the whole thing because of the energy. It's a, it's a real negative, you know, um, energy that could weigh on you heavy when you get into that type of stuff. Because when you start getting into that, you you it's almost like you're going down a rabbit hole. Like, damn. Like, you, you get disappointed. You get scared. You get sad. You get lonely because it's like you're finding out stuff. Disappointed that, that, that you, you know, you thought was one way. And it's a way it's totally, totally different her being in the industry probably seeing a lot of things you know, probably messed her up or she just could be lying and fell back because the, you know because it was getting hot it could be anywhere in between that in my opinion but the, honestly is i really don't know yeah i like i like that more you know what i'm saying like because you figure she wasn't out there in the public like crazy before that anyway Nah, she was exactly. She was quiet. Right. You feel me? And what brought her out? The Malik, roots? Malik B passed Yeah, away. that's right. You know what I'm saying? And she was talking about that because then they started going in and then she went in on, um, what's my man? Um, um, root from the Root. Black yeah, Black Thought? Black Thought. She yeah. Black Thought and then Dice Raw. And everybody else after that too. She, Mary J, everybody. She went quick common, all of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then she went on a, a going in on everybody tour. You know what I mean? And like you said, that rush, and it is a rush, especially on social media and these were airways of you. And millions and millions of views she did. You can only imagine the crazy imbalances she got with the <sighs> hate mail and love and this and that and what that would do to a person. And then you realize, you sit back and kind of analyze everything. It's like, damn, what is going on? Is it really worth it? I didn't live this life to begin with. Mm -hmm. I got emotional about a situation that I was emotional about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then went crazy. And I'm not meaning the crazy in a sense of like just went in all the way in. You know what I mean? And this ain't really me anyway. I like that more. And even somebody sliding some money in her pocket. Right. Because, and it would be interesting, you know what I'm saying? If somebody really did give her some money to shut up because she had more and she was really a threat like that. That would be right. interesting, but it I, would be. I like what you say more. I lean toward that more. Honestly. Right. Because the, the conspiracy stuff, people can go out, go crazy with that. You know what I mean? But, um, I, you know, I just think that, man, that, you know, imagine all the stuff that we know yeah. that we ain't put out there. Somebody actually really being in around these people, 
there's probably all types of crazy stuff going on. I mean, just in a regular world, people are sleeping with this person. This person's doing that person. This person's doing this. This is that. just in a regular life. Imagine like in Hollywood where everybody got money. Everybody, everybody, what they are is magnified because of the money, the fame, the success. It's probably all types of crazy stuff that goes on, you know, the, you know, the selling a soul thing, which a lot of people try to downplay that, but that that's just simple. It's easy. Too easy. It's easy. It's too easy. I mean, you've been in the industry, you know, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It's like, it, it, it can happen. It's too easy. You know what I mean? So one person I can, I think that sold their soul is Meg Thee Stallion. 